Hey everyone, it's Victor here, and welcome to Scott Trans. This week's topic is clothing. Now, this is going to be very much on the same tangent as my makeup video was, because I'm very much in the school of thought of basically wear what you like. It doesn't matter what gender you are, just wear the clothes that make you feel most like yourself. I really think clothing doesn't have a gender. I really don't think it does. I think if it makes you happy to wear something, or it just feels right to wear something, then you should wear it. It doesn't matter if you're male, female, non-binary, wherever you are on the spectrum. It doesn't really matter. It's just pieces of fabric that you put on your skin. I don't really see why people make such a big deal about clothes and, you know, like, oh, you can't wear a dress, or oh, you can't wear a suit, or... It just doesn't really make sense to me. I feel like it's quite complicated though, because I feel that AFAB people, assigned female at birth, people on, on the spectrum, and, and also cis women, have a bit more kind of freedom in terms of what clothes they can wear in society's view. For example, you see Kate Blanchett in those perfume adverts wearing like suits and tuxedos and everyone thinks that's so cool, but you know, she's a cis woman. But if you see it in the opposite way, for example, if there's a cis man on television wearing a dress, everyone thinks that's funny. They don't think it's cool, they think it's funny, or they think it's odd. And I've always felt that that's so messed up. It's a kind of twisted view that we somehow allow AFAB and cis women people to kind of have the freedom to dress in whatever they want and it's like, oh, so, you know, new age and cool. And then for, you know, cis guys or assigned male at birth people, there's much more stigma around what you can wear in society's view, which I find really kind of strange. I really think in this day and age we should just be allowed to wear whatever the hell we want. And in my ideal world, I would wear my Victorian clothing and kind of vampire-y gothic clothes all the time. But unfortunately, I don't have the confidence to do that, especially because I'm pre-T. And I might be just because that's like my personal feeling about it. But I feel like as soon as I start wearing my lace cuffs and my fancy cravats and jewels and things like that, people misgender me much quicker. And that's upsetting, because I just want to be seen as a kind of beautiful gothic man. But that's very hard for me to portray at this point, because for some reason people just go, oh, you're a girl, because I'm wearing the gothic clothes. It's like, no, no. Ugh, it's like, mm, I hate it, because I want to wear these things. I want to wear pirate shirts and you know, beautiful velvet waistcoats and jackets with long trains at the back of them, you know. But I can't, currently. I mean, <laughs> I wonder if I'm going to have the confidence to do that even after I've been on tea for a while. We'll see. I hope I do. I hope I can have the confidence to wear those things out. But we do live in a world where we are quite judged for what we wear and pointed out and kind of made fun of. Um, can kind of feel like a bit of an unsafe world to be in sometimes in terms of our gender expression through clothing. I feel like especially goth, goth culture and gothic clothing can be judged a lot more than other kinds of clothing. Might just be what I've experienced, um, but goths tend to be not really respected or treated with very much um, kindness by a certain group of people. Not everyone, obviously. I'm just saying like some people on the street are a bit funny about it. But yeah, clothing, just wear what you want to wear. There are some, obviously, some rules that people like to set down for like, oh, how you dress masculine, how you dress feminine. But I think at the end of the day, yeah, people might misgender you, but the fact is, are you gonna let those people decide what you wear or are you gonna decide what you wear? That's kind of what it comes down to at the end of the day, so you should think on that. I should take my own advice and start wearing what I want to wear even though I get misgendered, but... I'm an anxious person. <laughs> I like to go about my day and not get misgendered, so... There may come a time where I can sacrifice that. I usually just wear shirts and 
my leather jacket, which in fairness does have lace cuffs on it, black lace cuffs. That's like as far as I can go in terms of like presenting my gothic fashion to the world. I also have like combat boots, which I wear, which are really great. Um, they're kind of like stompy, you know, combat boots, which give me this kind of like feeling of like a bit more masculine prowess than like small shoes I used to have before. Um, so I really recommend combat boots if you want a bit more kind of like, you know, especially if you're like a smaller guy um, or smaller uh, non-binary masculine presenting. Just if you want to wear combat boots, wear combat boots. There's no rules. But anyway, wear what you want to wear. Don't let anyone stop you. I'm going to try and take that advice too. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next Sunday.